These vinaigrette recipes are gonna make your salads more exciting to eat. And the best part, they're made in less than two minutes and last a week in the fridge. The first one to add to your rotation is this balsamic vinaigrette. I'm gonna keep things really simple by making it in a jar so I can just shake it and mix it when I need to use it. We're gonna start with our balsamic vinegar. We're adding extra virgin olive oil. It gives salad dressings a rich flavor and then we're at some Dijon mustard. I like to cut the acidity with a little bit of honey, a little bit of salt, and freshly ground pepper. Let's put that lid on and give it a good shake. And here, my friends, we have a quick balsamic vinaigrette, which pairs great with just about any simple salad. A lighter and smooth version of that balsamic would be this white wine vinaigrette. Instead of shaking it in a jar, we're gonna use a food processor, but you could also use a blender too. Actually, the next vinaigrette, I'm gonna show you how to use your blender to make any of these recipes, hang tight. Let's start with a whole garlic clove. Then we add the Dijon mustard, the white vinegar, some lemon juice, some honey to balance out that acidity, salt and pepper. Now, before we add the olive oil, let's mix these ingredients really well until the garlic clove is nicely incorporated. Then through the top, we're gonna add the olive oil with the food processor running. Adding the olive oil with the food processor running is what gives a vinaigrette that smooth and creamy texture that we all love. Check it out. Now, all you have to do is transfer it into a jar and it's ready to drizzle over your favorite salad. Okay, so now you're wondering how to achieve that smooth salad dressing using your blender, right? No problem, let me show you. Let's make a smooth red wine vinaigrette in our blender by adding a whole garlic clove. Then a Dijon mustard, the red wine vinegar, and some lemon juice. To counteract the acidity, we'll add some honey, then salt and freshly ground pepper. Let's put the blender lid on and blend it until smooth. And now with the blender running on low speed, I'm gonna slowly pour in the olive oil through the top. So if you don't have a food processor, you can definitely use your blender to create a velvety smooth and delicious salad dressing. Check it out. Now pour it into a mason jar or a salad dressing bottle and you're ready to drizzle it over an incredible salad. Oh, do me a favor. If you enjoy simple recipes like these, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to make more of them on my channel for you. And if you're into fresh and easy homemade meals for yourself and your family, hit that red subscribe button. I share new recipes twice a week. This next vinaigrette, you're gonna love it. It's a maple Dijon vinaigrette that is slightly sweet from that maple syrup. Wow. So on to this maple Dijon. I'm also gonna make it in a jar and let's start by adding the olive oil first this time because I want you to see that there's no right or wrong way of making these delicious salad dressings. To the olive oil, let's add some apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a bit more earthy and not as pungent as the other vinegars. But of course, you can also use white wine vinegar for this recipe. Now the maple syrup, I use it to sweeten it up and cut down the acidity as well as some Dijon mustard to thicken up the dressing a little and then some salt and pepper. We simply put on the lid, give it a good shake to incorporate all the ingredients and now it's ready to be drizzled over an epic salad. Oh, and one fancy one is this champagne vinaigrette. Champagne vinegar is similar to white wine vinegar, but a little milder, and it makes a delicious vinaigrette. It all starts out with a garlic clove and a little Dijon mustard, then some lemon juice and champagne vinegar. I'm using honey this time to balance out the acidity and then a little salt and pepper. Let's put on the lid and you know the drill. Let's blend it until it's nice and smooth. Then we're gonna add the olive oil through the top to emulsify it, which means to make it nice and smooth in there, Wow, check it out. It's so epic and creamy looking and into the jar it goes and you're set until you're ready to use it. Now, if you're storing any of these dressings in the fridge, they last up to a week and all you have to do is give them a good shake before drizzling them all over your salad. Weren't these so easy? Now make sure to check the description box for the ingredients to each of these recipes and make sure to watch this next video. See you next time.